Hi guys, Lyle and Steve here, and we've got a battle report from uh, Pikeshi. Uh, we're playing Zone Mortalis today, it's 50 power level. We've got our own sort of semi experimental Zone Mortalis rules for 8th, and uh, the storyline that we've got here is a, a small word bearer ship that's sort of broken through the Imperial Cordon and are looking to uh, seed one of the Pikeshi worlds with um, viruses and, and, and sort of bioweapons and stuff like that but rather than the the Death Guard style turn everyone into sludge it's more of like a, a destabilizing thing give everyone the flu and uh, cause a bit of anarchy before the the main battle barge arrives in the system so we've got various um, objectives set up around the table an engine room and Teleportarium, maybe this one, I think. Uh, sort of weird warp nexus in the cargo hold. We've got the bridge up here. Uh, and in here, we've got the Medicaid with two um, apothecaries basically working on those uh, those bioweapons. Steve is, um, is going to be deep striking a bunch of scions and he's got an Inquisitor leading the strike force as well. Um, some of them are going to be coming down turn one to to hit all these uh, targets and then some of them are going to be following up the assault after that and as you can see I've got sort of a starty scattered around on patrols some possessed lurking in the cargo hold and, and bits and pieces of cultists as you'd expect on a word bearer's ship um, and the big guys up on the bridge with a, with a hell brute as well so uh, I think it's going to be re a really exciting game um, We'll come back to you in a bit. I think Steve's going to uh, take that first turn and drop in and, and see what kind of um, carnage he can cause. Okay, the Imperial forces are beginning their invasion of the spaceship. Um, my sub commander here, this fella, has landed with his um, command squad and a five man sign unit in one corner. And of course, you know, this isn't a precise um, art teleportation. And the other half of his uh, initial force have landed on the other side of the ship. We've got a unit there with flamers and then a unit here with some plasma guns. So that's pretty much my turn one done and deployed. And I guess all sorts of alarm bells are now ringing on the Chaos spaceship. Doop, doop. And then um, we'll see as the game begins to heat up and we come back to the last turn. Uh, so another fairly quick and uneventful turn here for the traitors as the patrol sweeps continue a bit more concentration in this corner I guess maybe like an alarm, uh, proximity alarms or something set off by this particular unit everyone in the cargo hold sort of holding ground the Apostle's still lording over things on the bridge, but the Hellbrute seems to know something's up, so he's just wandering off at the moment. He's uh, smelt corpse god somewhere, and he's off to see what's going on. Um, yeah, that's uh, the, the first turn. Okay, Imperium second turn. Um, these guys advanced rather cautiously down the corridor, Plinking at the force field, um, I took one of the two wounds off. Um, we're playing these as toughness seven, with a four up save and two wounds. Um, once they're destroyed, they can't be used again. But if you switch them on and off, on and off you can. Um, the terminators, and what we have here is you can deep strike closer than the regular um, nine inches. But if you do you have to roll for mortal wounds on the ones and I, I managed to get two mortal wounds so I took a um, one lost one terminator there but they were just able to kill catch the cultists and, and kill them butcher them horrifically absolutely there was some running some screaming and the terminators did what the terminators love doing <laughs> for this one turn and then I suspect that they're gonna find they're gonna be run into some word bearers um, over here I kind of moved around a little bit and tried to take this force field down so I could get at these cultists and the, the objectives in the hole um, but um, I managed to kind of just kind of rebound everything off of there which is pretty cool 
So that's how my turn went. Um, I've still got a bunch of reserves, and I reckon that I'll probably get a fair share next turn. So um, I'm hoping that my invasion becomes a little bit more forceful in the next turn. Uh, so the main focus now for the traitors. These guys alerted by at least a dozen cultists burnt and slashed and pulverised and, and maybe a few of them running off screaming um, to the Terminator incursion have, have moved back um, pinged a few shots round the corner at one and, and uh, finished, it, finished them off with bolt gun round, and rounds here yeah. so reducing that threat but obviously pulling away from the uh, scions that they, the one team there had been moving towards. Over here, alerted by the uh, hammering of shots on the false field, the cultists have moved into positions but have uh, neglected to drop the shield, so they're just kind of standing behind it, dangling their asses at the scions and <laughs> otherwise making a nuisance of themselves. But two teams, of course, moving up there, so don't bank on the uh, cultists lasting very long if it goes wrong uh, yeah and just the, the more demonic element still lurking up this end Dreadnought slowly making his way back and the, uh, the Apostle still to release his little bodyguard into the fight just in case there's a, an attempt to take the bridge uh, and that's where we're at okay Space Marines this turn I say Space Marines they're the star of the show they managed to kill, in close combat, the word bearer unit were there in combination with the Scions coming down with their plasma guns. Um, I've got to start thinking about objectives. Um, so these guys uh, took the force field down and they're trying to sneak round and see if they can, uh, can get to that point. Um, over here, these guys are still on their merry way doing their things that evil apothecaries do. Um, I managed to get the force field down here. Um, these fellas advanced, try and get round at the apothecaries and try to get a foothold in the cargo bay, which is not too bad. I got the shield down and then f flamed the, um, the cultists, but there's still some left. But I'm a little bit concerned <laughs> that once these fellas get unleashed, my amazing tactics of picking on cultists will look a little bit <laughs> naff. <laughs> I will be the new cultist. That's what I'm afraid of. So I'm um, over to Lyle. Uh, right, so that was an action-packed turn for the traitors as they finally move a bit more efficiently to counter the incursion. Um, the Dark Apostles finally detached his sorcerer and the Havocs to go deal with uh, what's going on here. The sorcerer was just able to uh, see a couple of guys in that unit and he smited them. Uh, I think they might need a leadership actually, yeah. but we'll see what happens there. Yeah, I think they're fine. Um, the possessed rushing back as the uh, desperate cries of the last few Astartes finally reach them. Um, I wanted to sort of do a fight in withdrawal here with this squad, but I, I was emboldened by taking out one of the last two Terminators was shooting, went in uh, with the power fist there and thought maybe I'll get lucky, but uh, ended up losing a couple of guys there to like Overwatch and, and his chain fist, so that wasn't ideal. Um, one of the first things I did was use the, uh, the cultist, I think it's Tired of Traitors stratagem. So the, the unit of cultists that were, had been sort of butchered by flamers in here disappeared into the depths of the ship and suddenly a new horde sprung out of nowhere over here and just steamed into those guys, took out the command squad and uh, engaged the other unit in combat. So tying up those guys pretty well and a, a cool sort of representation of the, the dangers that lurk around every corner on the word bearer's ship. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Steve's got a couple more units to pop down and I think it's opening up quite nicely to uh, See some good stories pan out. Okay, this, this didn't go too well. I dropped another unit in here. Um, took out a couple of the cultists, but really got uh, undone by my own greed. 
Um, so I've got this nice little kind of action going on here in the uh, right behind me. Best like, cultists ever. Yeah, they were awesome, weren't they? <laughs> uh, they and your were, signs yeah. did all right, man. Like you yeah. got a load of hits with these guys, and it just didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. It kind of keeps that tension going. Um, the command unit have jumped in here, looking to turn this barrel red at some point. Um, so it's worth mentioning, we're playing objectives, and on each side of the barrel is a red or a green. Um, red means I've planted some sort of explosives, and these are objectives you can kind of um, run off and forget about. Um, I managed to get this one over here red, and um, the Terminator withdrew from the combat and let the Scions jump in and finish our Space Marines off. Um, in this corner here, I just sort of consolidate in a little bit out of the path of these guys to try and um, get my forces organised and then kind of launch a counter assault. But I've still got, got things in my kind of line of sight that I need to take care of before the real action starts. Uh, so I'm just kind of moving these guys in slightly. I've got this force field down, so I guess I'm going to try and see if I can do something about the, um, the apothecaries in a couple of turns' time, I guess. So, um, not so, I think that was a pretty good turn, but I've got, <laughs> I've got these guys, and these guys are going to be in my face pretty quickly. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out. And then I've, I've got this guy to deal with, and, and the big and the hot shots over there. So uh, this is pretty tense. I feel like uh, I'm getting a bit surrounded now. So the battle, I think, starting to enter a new phase. Uh, down here at this end of the ship, more sort of jockeying p for position, laying ambushes and whatnot. The uh, possessed Gal Vorbach pushing up to uh, just shy of the false field to try and protect the apothecaries. Although there are multiple threats here, with the single Terminator leading those guys and a couple of squads here, so that might be a bit of a desperate fight. But hopefully. Once again, it will be a bit like the uh, the units up here. I want to take as many casualties as I can, so Steve's got less to uh, assault the front end of the ship with. These cultists, they've just been amazing. Um, so they've taken down their third unit of Scions. They've surrounded the sub-commander, is that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, taking some casualties, and I'm, I'm sure sort of reaching the, the limits of their effectiveness, but at the moment... Um, unstoppable a bit, so that's been really cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's about all to all to say about this turn. Angered by the um, constant failure of his troops, he's showing how it's done. He's showing. He's lost two wounds, but he killed what two? Two guys. Yeah. Yep. So a nice standoff here. Bought these guys a bit of time. Who um, flipped that barrel across? Um, over here was, I tried to get tricky by issuing the order to um, um, allow me to advance then shoot, thinking I would be munching through these guys, but as it turned out, um, I killed one, and I don't think that's enough. I think that I'm going to suffer the, the penalty for being um, a bit cocky. Um, so that, that was like, it's going to be difficult to try and defend against those, but... What happened, as these guys here have controlled the teleportarium, um, it meant I could then go onto the bridge. And the Inquisitor landed. Late as ever. Late as ever. And this is the first time in the last few games she's actually achieved something. She made a 10-inch charge um, with a nemesis demon hammer and a psy cannon. She took the apostle out. And <laughs> just splattered that yeah. apostle. <laughs> Uh, and now she's thinking, oh, I've got this. But the problem is now is that she's... Um, can't fly? She can't She can't fly. She hasn't got a licence. Uh, <laughs> and he's got this and this to contend with. Um, these guys just really kind of snuck around a bit more. They couldn't affect the game directly, but they've got to try and take out these guys. But also where we've got a door there as well. So I suspect this is going to be troublesome. <laughs> Um, and I'm probably, as much as I'm gloating how awesome my Inquisitor is right now, I think he who laughs after the Inquisitor will laugh longest. That's going <laughs> to be the Galvor back. So uh, over to Lyle for some revenge. Uh, so a really cool turn there. Things 
developing. You know, it's a really cool story playing out. Um, despite the threat from this this lone Terminator leading the the scions round here, the uh, the Galvalbacks stuck to their guns, trying to protect the uh, the Medicaid. They came steaming through here and made mincemeat of um, one of Steve's scion squads. There's a couple of other squads waiting. Um, for the last time, I use my Tide of Traitors thing. This guy sort of fighting off a few on, on his own and they've disappeared again back into the shadows only to spring up another mob of zealous crazy cultists over here. And then they actually completely failed to do anything to these two Scions. So worst cultists ever. They just lost two, didn't they? <laughs> they actually lost two to Overwatch, yeah. Yeah, so they they shot all their pistols. Steve pulled off like five saves and then they whiffed the charge. So that was great. Um, yeah, evidently there's like some good cultists and some really bad ones on this ship. Uh, the Dreadnought's still really just lurking. At some point, I figure what's left of the attack has to come through the bay and maybe he can... Uh, get in their way and these guys alerted just a little too late <laughs> to the death of their commander have uh, come back onto the bridge and uh, cast two different psychic powers on the Inquisitor got down to two wounds because mortal wounds are so damn good uh, but she could still theoretically with that demon hammer chew through those guys if she can make it uh, yeah it's pretty cool um, I think up here on the bridge and here in the Medicae is where all the action is going to go down next turn. Okay, that was a real action-packed turn. Um, these guys moved off the objective to go and support their teammates. These guys ran around the corner and with a combination of these two guys took out three of the uh, possessed, which was pretty decent. Um, charged into close combat and it was a whiff fest all round but that works for me because at least he's sort of under control for one more turn um, over here um, the Inquisitor I think killed one in combat one with Smite uh, yeah. which was pretty underwhelming but she what what made it really heroic and you don't see this in the in the kind of commentary I guess in the in this is the, the way in which she ran into like four flamers and made every one of the god knows how many saves. Last wound, right? She yeah. She and went through like 10, 12 yeah. saves, yeah. Which was pretty cool. So it's been so many kind of heroic moments in this game. And um, that was a really fun turn. Um, uh, yeah. Can we say uh, oh, Revenge yeah. for Cadia? Oh, yes. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Yeah, for one one command point, you get the best of two orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really smart. I'm right? guessing it's only against chaos, right? Yes. You can use yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not exactly sure what Cadia has got to do with this, but <laughs> it's definitely revenge of something. Probably revenge of all the signs that got murdered so far. <laughs> it's, it's, it's that fresh in their minds. Um, this is really, really tight. I don't have a lot left. I've got a some pretty tough stuff to deal with, and I think we're kind of entering the next phase of the game when I've really got to get a march on. So, really, really cool. Right, the battle for the med bay, um, entering a pretty, pretty interesting stage here. The apothecary is disturbed by all the slaughter going on behind them, but they've rushed over to the control panel and put that force field back up because uh, that was one of the ones I had lowered rather than Steve uh, shooting so it's isolated the Terminator got these Scions slowed down a little bit more um, bolt pistol rounds just pinging off that, that cataphracty plate though so unable to deal with him um, one possessed on his own not really getting the job done he killed one Scion took a wound back I think that's gonna sort of peter out one way or the other and the cultist Revolution finally over. Uh, they met their match there, charging into the Flamer guys. Uh, dragged down one, so I think everybody that they can take with them helps now because whatever's left after I suspect Steve takes the, the Apothecarian as well has got to deal with the Dreadnought. 
and these guys, the Sorcerer and his three remaining Havocs because uh, I managed to overwhelm the Inquisitor with uh, psychic powers there. Um, so yeah, pretty cool turn. Definitely getting towards the end, I think now, or certainly the end of the beginning. <laughs> right, okay, so not too much happened here. I killed one of the um, apothecaries and I also um, charge everything I had into the possessed. Um, I think that in my next turn I'm probably going to be okay to take over the back part of the spaceship um, but now we're entering the delicate phase of trying to run the gauntlet and get away from the dreadnought and somehow not get flamed. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work out but it's going to be fun trying so I've, what have I got left here? I've got a command squad, two commanders, and two scion squads, and an extra sergeant, and one terminator. So, yeah, it's doable, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Last desperate attempt by the uh, apothecary to kill his attackers. Uh, took out one dude, didn't really do much in... in Assault. I was uh, hoping he'd uh, take out the last of the plasmas, maybe, but not so lucky. And I think that'll be the end for him. And the Apothecarian will fall. Uh, again, Dreadnought and the Sorcerer with these guys taking up position. Uh, but we've got a really interesting angle now for the story as. Uh, what rank is Leps? What is he? Yeah, like a chapter master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so like chapter master, Leps, yeah, yeah. and three Terminators of the Fade have suddenly emerged from the mysterious warp nexus. <laughs> um, so these guys, obviously a, 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 an army of Steves who've, who've got an ongoing relationship with the word bearers, yeah. stretching back thousands of years. Um, and he sort of popped up from a different timeline. Uh, we decided to uh, add a little bit more flavour as we go into the uh, the next stage of the game. Okay, the signs are now in attack formation beta, um, which means that some of them are here and some of them are there. <laughs> um, it's a very precise attack yeah. formation. Uh, I mean, I managed to kill the apothecary quite. Yeah, you know, it's one space marine. Um, but I'm, I'm now thinking I've got this dreadnought come in, and I've got some guys here. So I'm, I'm just trying to work out the best way to try and get into the hold and start looking at a couple of these objectives. Now, the way these work are, they kind of you set them and forget them, uh, but they can be unset and reset. Um, the only problem is, is the mission parameters at the start was for this. For these kind of charges to mean anything, I really need to get half over half. So I need to get at least one more, or otherwise I'm really not going to do enough damage to the ship. Effectively, what I'll end up doing is like blowing up the part that's least important to Lyle. Because this has got probably what this cargo is full of um, by, um, by, what's it, by weapons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you've got the command bridge. They're the bits I need to disable. But like all good plans, you always start in the easiest place first and work your way in. So it's not really a cut and dry, even though I've got a few a few special weapons and slightly got numbers on my side. Um, it's still going to be tricky getting to these and, and keeping them um, red. But, you know, the Emperor's with us. Very quick turn, basically movement and a little bit of psychic. Um, all strategic sort of stuff and actually for what it was I got some really good rolls uh, this guy got a six inch advance so he's really closing that gap I was worried that if he didn't get a move on these guys could all swing around this way and take the dreadnought out of the game but I suspect he's going to be able to get in amongst them next time uh, and here as well I got a good advance on these terminators and then uh, by using warp time on them I got them up to the control panel and re-establish the force field just again slow Steve down or, or funnel him down the corridors I want and hopefully that's going to give me a bit of an edge 
uh, in the coming turns. Okay, so here's what's happened. This Chaos Dreadnought Hellbrute has only got one wound left. The Terminator um, took three wounds off with a Heavy Flamer and then four wounds off in close combat, yeah. leaving one left. That was a really um, heroic last stand. And that was the perfect way because that guy's yeah. been around all game and um, for for the space marine to hurl himself yeah. into that fire. Yeah. And, and he's been like jumping in all the time saving the scions. Yeah. You know, when that when it, a bit of brute force is needed. Um these guys took the force field down, but that was a really smart move by Lyle because it's really slowed me down. Because what I didn't want to do was get be sort of standing here when the force field comes down and get a counter charge what I really wanted to do was come out and shoot so that means I'm now kind of in in scope for getting knacked by the dread so that's really kind of put a uh, that one force field has put a really kind of interesting dynamic on what happens next so um, over to Lyle okay that went almost perfectly uh, with the Hellbrew Killing the Flamer squad, or I think that guy's left from that squad, isn't he? Yeah. With his heavy flamers, and then he charged uh, the Sarge left from another squad and finished him off. So we're looking at five Scions there. And over here, the Terminators, it was all going to plan, charged into both officers, took out the, uh, the Warlord, the Commander, with the Power Fists. And then this guy, who you'll remember all the way over here, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with like 20 cultists, Field promotion, right? I think so, yeah, because yeah. he's just totaled two uh, Terminators as well. Um, so it's it's literally these two models holding this bit, but uh, that was pretty cool actually. Oh, I should point out, um, warp time got me down the corridor in time, it's a really useful psychic power for this type of game. Um, I think that might be enough given that I've got two sorcerers and like three space marines in the in the bay i reckon these guys have done a good job but there could be one last bit of heroism left in these scions can they do it okay that was some awesome game that was in there amazing so <laughs> these guys for cadia or some other similar place um shot down the terminate with the hotshot body guns not such a surprise there but still a good result this was amazing. So the two power fists charged in. The first Sarge got like nine wounds. Nine heavy flavor, yeah. yeah. He didn't do so well. Um, this guy, he got like five. Yeah. I saved three of them. He only had two wounds left. Command pointed a reroll. I got it. <laughs> so he's got one wound left. And then he charged in, hit with one and then took the last wound off the Dreadnought. This guy is an amazing superhero. <laughs> um, now all I've got to do is kill two Chaos Sorcerers and get to an objective somewhere. So let's see what happens. Uh, perhaps not surprisingly, not much action this turn. Um, moving these guys into position for the last, last bit of the battle, I think. Uh, thought about doing the walk time trick, but uh, measured it out a bit and he wasn't going to be able to get around there, he just exposed himself. No one likes it when a Chaos Sorcerer <laughs> exposes himself. So I asked myself what would Zinch do and the answer is hide behind the corner. Um, like a sensible person, There's too many games role playing world eaters, uh, I had to think about that quite a lot. But um, sensibly chosen to uh, hide there and await these, uh, these scions. Okay, so I've asked myself what would my new found hero do, and of course he would, they would run forward. Um, from a tactical point of view, what I've obviously got here is a whole bunch of Overwatch. Um, it doesn't matter if it would be enough or not, because I've got this guy behind who's I've clearly going to take the Lord out, so <laughs> I've got that covered. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so despite Steve's obviously laid trap, Leps took the bait. Um, probably should have finished the job here because he killed three of those four Scions with Smite and then uh, failed to kill the last one with shooting and close combat. So 
I think there's a power fist coming his way now. Right, I got a bit cocky here, so what I did was is I got this guy out and ordered him to shoot, hoping I could get a, a cheeky wound or two off, but that didn't quite work out. And then my hero charged in and got Overwatch to death. So I suspect that it will be all over when Lyle picks up the camera. That was pure hubris, wasn't it? It, it yeah, was, you could yeah. Have kept him in combat. Yeah. Oh. I, I just thought, you know, I've, really, I've got to take this guy out. I should have just stayed there. Mind war. Yeah, so <laughs> perhaps unsurprisingly, Leps smiting that last scion and uh, clearing the ship. Uh, it was a it was a fantastic game. It was a bloody game. Um, two characters and three Astartes left out of what amounted to slightly more than than fifty power level um, because of the intervention of these guys. So fantastic from the from Steve's point of view, obviously stormed these back parts of the ship, achieved about half of his tactical objectives, but uh, just unable in the end to uh, to take the front half of the ship and the bridge and the cargo hull and the the warp rift remain in the hands of uh, these two sorcerers. Um, I think they did a pretty good job blunting yeah. the the planned word bearers attack, though. To be perfectly honest, um, yeah, I think it can leave us with a slightly perhaps ambiguous story on the next game where it's not clear cut. You know, a little bit more. Uh, you know, perhaps the virus bomb wasn't as a, as completely devastating as it ought to have been. Maybe I, I think so. I think so. So um, yeah, it was, that was that was a lot of fun. It was a really great way to. Uh, Spend a Sunday afternoon.